Anirudhani, in a, uh, one of the previous classes, you were mentioning about the uniform electric field. Yes. I was thinking how to make this if I want. Okay. So, to make a uniform, something uniform, right? Maybe you need to kind of spread it around. Maybe uh, what you could do, mm. uh, you could take two plates. So, basically two planes, right? That's what we mean. So, you could take two plates. Two conductive, conductive plates. plates. Two metal plates. Okay. And put charge on them. Uh -huh. So, I'll try to draw. Yeah, yeah please draw. Uh, it's not very perfect, but... Uh, what you meant is uh, two conductive plates like placed this. parallel to each other. Correct. Okay. Correct. So one below the other, there is some gap. There is some gap. They are not uh, physically touching. They are not physically con uh, connected. Correct. Okay. So in between them, for now, let's just assume there is air. We don't need anything else. So let's say there is just some air, okay. air in between. Okay. Hmm? Hmm. And, uh, and then how will I put charge in this? Ah. Uh, so maybe you can connect two wires and uh, put a connected to a voltage source. Okay, super. Because we know, we saw, right, batteries can provide charge. If they, okay. if you can provide current, you can provide charge. So, I will connect a wire from this, also from the bottom one. Yes. Something like this. Correct and uh, give some voltage V. Voltage. Correct. So, that means uh, this electrodes or this uh, conductive plates will have some charge now. Will now have some charge. Let us say that charge be Q. Yes. So, this has some charge Q. Let us say plus it is connected to positive, positive side. terminal. Correct. And uh, this will have minus Q. Minus Q. So, this means uh, the top conductive electrode has some charge Q, plus Q, bottom one has minus, minus Q. Q. And so, there is electric field in between. Correct. And that is uniform because it's plain, uh, it's the, a plain, uh, okay. uh, 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 electrode. sheet of charge. Sheet of charge. Correct. Now, suppose if I increase this uh, voltage little bit. Yes. That means, this charge will Increase, increase a little bit, I hope. Yes. Okay, okay. So, uh, that means this charge Q has got some that is correct. proportionality with the voltage. Voltage, correct. Because I know that if I do not put any battery there, ah. I just connect a wire, correct. there will be no charge. Correct, correct, right? correct, correct. So, so if I double the voltage, double the charge. Double probably. the charge. For this configuration. For this configuration. So, because this is a proportionality constant, maybe I can write a constant there, Q is equal to a constant C into B. Great. Yes. So, I guess I have read, read in textbooks, yes. this uh, C is called capacitance. Capacitance, yes. correct. That is correct. This has got some unit. Voltage, we know it is V, charge, v, this is Coulomb. Coulomb. So, I think if I remember right, it is named after some famous uh, scientist. Hmm. Is, is that correct? Yeah. Some portion of his name, I correct, think. Correct, correct. Farad? Farad, correct. Okay. Because the scientist was Faraday, Michael yeah. Faraday. Yes. So, they have taken a portion of his name. And its uh, short form is? F. F. Correct. Actually, I brought some capacitors here. Ah, okay. Yeah, for example, that one. This two, these two. Before okay. bringing it, I was measuring it. Ah. It was showing in some microfarad. Microfarad. Or uh, nanofarad, etc. Yes. So, this farad seems to be a large seems value. Seems to be a large value. Okay. Yes. So, yes. usually we see capacitors in the… Microfarad, microfarad nanofarad. And nowadays… Nanofarad. In, if, if you… I think uh, Janak Raman was showing those phones that… Uh, boards, right? They probably have picofarads. Picofarads. Picofarads also, which is 10 power minus 12. Yes. Very, very small. Yes. Yes. Now, how will I know what is the current going through this capacitor? Is there um, any expression for that? Did not we cover last uh, lecture, there is a relationship between charge and current I think for uh, electrical systems. Correct. So, the current you said it is uh, I is equal to dq by d. Correct. In fact, yes, we defined current as rate of flow of charge. Correct. 
and here we said if I am changing the voltage little bit, let us say delta V, then I will have a delta Q charge. Correct. So, probably from this equation I can get some expression. You should be able to get it. Correct. Let us differentiate and see. Yes. So, that means uh, from Q is equal to CV, I can get dQ by dt is equal to C dV by dt. Oh, that is quite interesting. <laughs> okay. So, the current is dQ by dt is the current, this right? This itself is the current. Correct. Oh, so, so straightforward I is equal to C dV by dt. This is not the same as that for a resistor. Resistor is very easy. True. It was just I equals Ohm's, uh, law. Ohm's law, right? I equals V by R. Correct. But here this is differentially related. Correct. Not just linear. So this means if I connect this electrodes to the source and once this has this charge, finally there will be no current. That is correct. Correct. No, dV by dt will be 0 dV by at dt some will point. be 0 at some point. There will be no current at all. Okay, okay. Because the charge will distribute on the plane and they will just stay there. There is no way to, there is no connect conductive path between true, the two plates. True, 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 so, true, I true. expect that there will be no current. True, true, true. Okay. Can you also get some expression for voltage if I want to know the voltage across the capacitor? Sure, I think you can use this just uh, same equation, no? We can just rearrange and… Uh, let us just rearrange it. Okay. So, I may do I dt equal to C dv, but okay. still it is not voltage. Yes. I will integrate? Yes. Let us okay. integrate. So, I will do integral I dt integral C dv. Maybe C I can bring this side. Yes. So, 1 by C integral I dt is integral dv. Integral dv is just v. It is the final voltage. It is that the you final have. voltage that we are interested okay. in. Okay. Oh, okay. So, the voltage can be written in terms of the current like this. Okay. I see. So, basically, we have two expressions that is enough to deal with this. Element it okay. Seems. Yes, right. it is slightly different from the resistor, but correct, 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 correct. We can still use it because correct. differentiation integration we know. Yes, yes. Uh, now, if you look at, I don't know the C. How to get this value of C? Maybe we'll see this in the future classes. I think we'll see in the future classes. Yes. But one thing what I've read is, this is uh, the C is going to be just function of the size of the conductive plate. That is correct. Yes. And uh, and probably the, also the, the distance. distance between these two. That is correct. Anything else? Um, maybe because right now we are using air in between. Air. I think if you put in something else, the capacitance might change. We don't know. Okay. So, you were mentioning some uh, insulator in the previous class. Correct. correct. So, if we I introduce an insulator in between. Yes. So, it may be a different value. It may be a different value. Correct. But one thing, the value of C has nothing to do with the voltage I am applying. That is correct. That is right. It is just to do with the… It is to find out the value of C. Okay. But when you use it in a circuit, you once you know C, you can calculate the voltages and currents. Okay. Great. Great. This element is also going to… You mentioned it can st store charge or store yes. energy. Store or energy. Or correct. How to find out how much energy is stored in this? So, I think in, uh, we have seen before, huh. the energy and power are related. In terms of time also. In terms of time. So, so you deliver power for a certain amount of time, you get energy. Okay. So, energy is uh, integral of power, power dt. If you are writing in integral form, maybe power dt. Okay. Yes. And electrical power also we know the expression for that. Voltage into current? Voltage into current. Okay. So, let us see. So, the voltage here is… Uh, v. V. Current is… C dV C by, dv by dt. dt. That is correct. Because it is dQ by dt, it is C dV by dt. And… Uh, Okay, so the dt dt will get cancelled. Correct. 
So basically we have C. Correct. We just said the capacitance has nothing to do with the voltage. Uh -huh. So it will just be C V squared, squared by, by 2. 2. Yes. Okay. I have seen this in textbook. Half C V squared. Half C V squared. Okay. So we, okay. Okay. Uh -huh. So this is the energy stored in the capacitor. Stored in the capacitor. Great. But hmm. this energy is only stored. It can hmm. be taken back from the capacitor. How will want. I take back? Um, maybe once the charges go away from the plates, mm -hmm. then you don't have any energy stored because you no longer have an electric field. So maybe the charges, maybe the energy is taken back from the capacitor. Okay. So like we take from a battery, this yes. energy also can be taken. This energy can also be taken. Only thing is the energy may be small compared to that the is battery. Correct. Yes. Good. So we were discussing about resistor in series, resistor in parallel. Yes. Whether that will be true in this case of capacitor also? There must be something, something relating capacitances. So let us see uh, capacitors in parallel and capacitors in series. Okay. Must be doing something electrically. Uh -huh. Let's try series. Let's try. Let's try connecting in series or and see parallel? what happens. Uh, sure. Let's try series first. Okay. Or let's try parallel first. Parallel, parallel first. Let's try. So. Let's say I think uh, I, we have many capacitors like this all connected in parallel C1, C2, etc. up to Cn. And actually we wanted to know, can we represent this using a That's right. single capacitor? Correct like uh, C equivalent. It must be possible. You know why? Mm, I think mm. it must be possible. Because you take one capacitor, mm. we said if you wait for enough time, the charges are moving, there is no current because Correct. the two plates are not connected. Correct. You now have so many of them in parallel, there is no current. So this means if I connect it to the voltage source, voltage source, there is going to be no current after some time. Correct. And also one capacitance based on the voltage, we had charge. Yeah. And we also had an electric field. Correct. We had energy stored in the electric field. True. Each of these capacitors we are doing that. Somehow I feel we must be able to get us equivalent capacitance. For okay. This. So all of them will have finally same voltage. All of them will have finally same voltage because they are all connected in parallel. Okay. So um, somehow I think if hmm. we use the charge equation originally because we can't use the current equation, current is zero. Current is zero. Let us use the charge equation. That might give us something. Okay. So, charge equation you mean? Uh, uh, we said uh, Q equals uh, C times V. Okay. That was the fundamental equation we started. Let's try. Q equals uh, C times V. Yes. Or I will write uh, Q is equal to C equivalent times V. Yes. That's what finally we want. That's what finally we want. Okay. So, each of this has got some charge. Correct. That's what you mean? Yes. Okay. So, the charge in the C1 will be? Uh, charge in C1 should be C1, uh, C1, C1 times V. C1 times V. Correct. Oh, and the other one is uh, C2 times V. Correct. Plus etc. to Cn times V. Correct. Oh, this looks very straightforward. No? Yes, this seems very straightforward. Okay. Because I know that I think the same charge should be there. Okay. Even in the equivalent. So, this is C1 plus. Correct. C2 plus Cn times V. v. Okay. So, C equivalent is just sum of all these capacitors. Very, very simple. Okay. But it is different from resistors. Yes. So, in the case of resistors, when you connected them in series, we it were, was adding up. Uh, the equivalent resistors correct. was the sum of the resistors. And series uh, parallel, we were doing R1, R2 by R1 plus R2 so, and so correct, on. Correct. Correct. In fact, the inverse of the resistance was the inverse of uh, 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 and so on till 1 over Rn. So, this is slightly different okay. because when you connect capacitors in parallel, we are getting, uh, we are getting, uh, you know, the sum, sum of the capacitors. Of Quite interesting. Shall we try series also? Let's try series. Maybe if we connect them in series, we will get something similar to what we <laughs> got for parallel Maybe. resistors. Let's Let see. Us see. So, here the current flowing through all this will be same. Correct. So, C1, C2, C3 because they are in series same current that flows. That is correct. 
but the voltages will be different voltages will be different correct so let's say this as uh, v1 v2 v3 okay now what do you do so let sum us do like this okay maybe sum of all this voltage will be the battery will voltage will be the battery voltage so, so maybe i can say v which is across the whole thing correct is uh, v1 plus v2 plus v3 correct oh and for v1 we had some expression correct for v1 we said by c integral integral uh, idt okay so i can say v1 is uh, 1 by c1 integral idt correct 1 by c2 integral idt okay correct and i is same for all this i is same for all of them because okay. they are in series correct so it's actually 1 by i c okay okay or so the c equivalent correct if you had an equivalent capacitance you okay. would have this current flowing through so that. i can write uh, 1, 1 by, by c equivalent ah i see okay integral idt i see okay so also it, you are right i was right so if you also, connect them in series okay you are getting what you would have got the similar expression as resistors in parallel that's quite interesting so for capacitors is exactly swapped mm hmm hmm can we cross check this somehow experimentally hmm because see i was very comfortable with resistor resistor ah i was thinking this is also another element correct it should behave something like that something like that the current expressions are different voltage expressions are different but at least the series parallel we can cross check i guess yes i think so i think we'll do it experimentally we'll use a multimeter hmm. and maybe measure two capacitors yeah. individually correct. put them in parallel put them in series and do it yes yes later maybe maybe later yeah 